guys so i am devika and i'm very very happy to introduce you to a very special guest that i have today and that is abhiram with me so he is a very special guest for us as uh, he has cleared his j mains and not just cleared it he has actually come with flying colors so abhiram a very warm welcome to you over here with me thank you so now my first i'm really curious to know this thing and i'm sure all your juniors also must be very curious to know he how did the start of you know shooting the aim at j come to you kaise aaya hai khayal i didn't have any planning before ha huh? i just go gone with the flow on with the flow totally right and uh, then why not bio if you are gone like, with flow <laughs> i don't like uh, living things you don't like living things okay fantastic that's uh, like living things like there will be some practical sin bio ha huh? i don't like them you don't like them so you so you don't like to uh, that's the insights that's things like frogs or organs or like that okay so uh, the big problem with uh, you know kids is that they don't know what to select you must be having the same dilemma ki acha should i select for neat or should i go for j double e i'm sure i'll go for j double e <laughs> fantastic and when were you sure about this when i saw some practicals of neat <laughs> <laughs> so so that time itself he was me a no boss you know i love my uh, you know physics chem maths. and maths and okay by the way in this three pc m of course what's your favorite maths of course maths okay and yeah i know your score but would you love to tell your juniors what it was it's 100 percentile 100 percentile that's something great man fantastic right so and uh, how did you prepare for this i prepared for 14 hours or 15 hours daily 14 to 15 hours daily uh, since when since 2 years since from my 11th class from 11th 12th and it was continuous rigorous preparation uh so do you think ki when you are preparing for jwe it is important to focus on the syllabus which is there for your boards as well and how much you should focus on both the things this tips would really help others you know the other aspirants who is aiming just like you to uh, score i didn't prepare for board until last minute until last minute because you are already preparing for jwe and most of the thing must be getting covered. covered over there itself so you don't have to really give attention to attention to especially something that no no i have my boards so what is easy boards or jw that's a lame <laughs> question i know but yes <laughs> i think boards yeah of course it's boards when you are preparing for such a uh, tough examination right uh so when you are preparing for physics uh what is your strategy because physics is something you scored 100 percentile right so when that means you have to score equally good in all three subjects isn't it and physics is something that people fear of many a times why is that so and how did you tackle that physics mm-hmm. is not that hard it's not that hard uh once we understand concepts clearly we can do anything fantastic so concept is Clarity. something you have to focus on and how did this concept come to you how were you making it clear tell me about one concept which is like quite tough and you got it right and that you recommend of yours electromagnetism electromagnetism and how did you try to understand it more i referred many books and references and i made many short notes okay so making short notes help right and uh, 
how was the contribution of your school and how did it help you faculty really helped me and they clarified many doubts okay and they thought concepts in a clear way so easy manner of concept clearing you mentioned something as doubts so how often you were asking doubts not much not much you were not getting doubts or you were feeling hesitated to go for doubts more than asking someone if we do it ourselves mm-hmm. we'll get it more clearly more clearly is it so okay so and then you said teachers helped you for concept clearing things during so, classes during classes right and this was a regular thing and not continuously you are basically doing it so now uh you mentioned about physics what about chemistry i'm keeping maths for the last i know you like it chemistry is mostly memory based and my memory is very weak okay then how did you score i made very clear short notes okay and tried to memorize them as much as possible uh-huh all right again and again again and again so revisiting the topic again and again helps in case of chemistry and now to your favorite subject i never really studied hard for maths nothing at all so it just comes it just comes it just comes to you but what will you tell uh, to others who are uh, facing some difficulties in math is there any that pro tip for them as long as you stick to stick to logics mm-hmm. everything's fine logics basics has to be cleared hai na the fun- so uh, fundamental basics how do they help uh, and from when should one start preparing this according to you because you have experienced it right now that's why i think 10th class is enough 10th class is enough right the basics of 10th class and forward is helping enough. you to build the further so. building over it so now when we talk about this jwe uh how did you approach and what were the factors that kept you going you said 14 hours minimum you were studying per day so how much was schooling how much was self study how much was the other things in it entirely it was schooling entirely it was schooling entire schooling everything there are the timings were so long yes so all the preparation the rigorous preparation was happening when you are into the process right anything else you want to really tell to your uh, you know juniors or other aspirants who are looking up to this this is doable don't be tensed anyone can do it if you have proper confidence on yourself and concentration concentration confidence to i can see many people have but concentration is something which goes off how do you keep bringing it back i take breaks for time to time hmm very correctly said so breaks are something that really helps you to keep your mind fresh and come back to the topic of fresh right so 14 hours when you are putting yourself into this process uh next day what's the what's the thing that motivates you maybe i have left something to do fantastic so you always sleep with the thought ki what i've left and what i have to do the next day so that's quite a planning i would say that's something called as planning right so abira uh you said you have studied for this 14 hours continuously all this uh two three years if i'm not wrong uh in this due course of time this all thing has boiled down to that one single day yes so can you share some experience of that day what you have done and how you have prepared yourself on that day and how was the day for you on the day of exam i took as much rest as possible i woke up at uh, around 8 o'clock okay and then i started organizing myself i took all the required things 
and maintain my calm and then i reached the examination center by one hour before after reaching the examination center did you had those butterflies that i usually have not until the question paper appeared okay <laughs> nice so how was the question paper like maths was i can't say because yeah. because you like it ha huh. so it must have gone just like that okay then and then physics hmm i struggled at two three questions but i hmm. did my best what i can do okay so you you try to recall those concept that time at that time so you see guys toppers also struggle sometimes that's not a bad thing right yes then and then comes chemistry hmm so you have solved the same pattern as well same flow okay it's like i try to remember many things ha huh. everything jumbled okay <laughs> see you are saying everything jumbled and then you score 100% high but finally i try to relax a bit and think ha uh ha -huh. so you have gathered yourself and then things come back automatically right yes. okay fantastic so maths physics and chemistry that was your preference right So, what was your expectations? How many marks? You must have checked the paper after the examination is done. How did you do that? I expected around two eighty to two nineties. Two eighty to nineties. Okay. And I got it. I'm satisfied with it. You are happy with? Obviously, you are happy. <laughs> yes, what I'm asking. Correct. So. Uh, after the result you must have felt so who, 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 what was the feeling like actually i didn't know results were released ha, ha. somebody else informed me that okay. i got 100% and who out. was that special person who informed you my class your class classmates okay and i was in a shock <laughs> shock for what is it real okay and then it's some other feeling some other feeling and what were your parents reaction though they they, they you stay with them or no. you don't stay with them you no stay. i stay with them oh you stay with them okay. but i wasn't there when they know okay so so i don't know so you don't know <laughs> but over the phone or something they were really happy right overjoyed yeah. they must be like okay they many people called them and congratulated and they were really happy about it so they were proud so oh, do you remember what they said to you anything special we are really happy for you and we are proud proud of you right and that is like the i guess for anybody making parents proud is the greatest achievement of all isn't it it's it's a different Uh, kind of a feeling all together yes so uh, now coming back to the subject what kind of materials helped you and how much practice did you do study kab tak kiya and practice kab tak kiya kitna roz kitna questions lagate how many questions were you practicing on an average in maths ha huh. in maths around 80s 80 question a day 80 question a day and the other two physics i was revising concepts and concepts you were practicing okay and what about chem chem to every time you have to come you said you have to come visiting it again and again yes so uh, now what's the future plan like i'm preparing for je advance currently hmm and um, as far as i know i think it's okay i'm pretty sure you will rock it definitely definitely with all the hard work that you have done um uh, to whom you can say ki oh they have equally you know uh, equally or somewhat contributed in your success my parents yes of course and my teachers hmm. of teachers and parents play a very important role right so Do you remember those classes that were conducted 
because that's how sometimes happens to me. Even though after so many years, if I'm teaching a concept, I actually recall my professor ka class. Oh, we was teaching it like that. Does that happen when you are reading a concept? As I said, my memory is too weak. <laughs> Too weak, but still hundred percent, I guys. <laughs> If it was strong, I don't know what you would have done, <laughs> right? So okay, what's your future plan? Like uh, you said, that day me advance, you are going to do, and the planning is in track, right? So how are you preparing for advance now? Same way as maths. Same way as maths. Mains. mains same way as mains you are saying same way as mains you are preparing now also you are studying for 14 hours or 18 hours right and now is more of the practice yeah they are conducting regular exams ha uh ha -huh. and we have to appear lot of mock tests so this really helps isn't yes. it practicing mock tests and exams those are something that really helps you out yes fantastic any final pro tip that you want to give patience and continuous efforts are required very well said abiram correctly aptly said ki patience is something that you have to be calm all the time and even though sometimes something troubles you you have to come back to it right because challenges are there in everybody's life and continuity so continuity is like practice and everyday effort it can't be done in one in single one day. day yeah so people ask us oh can i crack jwe in one month <laughs> they can't <laughs> they cannot so guys that's very clear straight away answer they cannot and it should not be done right fantastic thank you abiram so here we had abiram uh thank you for watching this And I thank you all from Sri Chaitanya by Infinity Land.